Okay, speaking of U, here's the U of P. University of Portland. Right over there is where the girls win their National Soccer League title. Well, they did a few years ago. I don't know if they did it at home or not. We were all pretty excited, I'll tell you that. Well, some of us were. I was glad. I don't know if I really got excited about it or not. It was a good thing for them. I'm going up here to Waldschmidt today. This is Buckley. There's Waldschmidt over there. Waldschmidt Hall. There's some other hall over here. I should know what that is. I've been in there a bunch of times. There's that bell tower. It's 152 now. So that bell tower should go off in about eight minutes. So listen for that. Whoops. Did you ever slam your van into park and realize it was in reverse because the whole world was moving when it wasn't supposed to? Yeah. Me neither. I've never done anything that stupid. I've... Portland State University. It just seems like traffic, really, it's higher education. That's good to keep in mind when you're driving by.
it's a bean thing. So, it's afternoon now. So, boy, these vlogs are getting more and more exciting every day. Hard to understand why everybody doesn't vlog on YouTube. Huh. Well, here I am. It's me. See? Exciting world here. Exciting world. I don't know how you guys all got along without it before I started vlogging. Hard to imagine how mundane and dull your lives must have been until I came along to invigorate you like this. Sun's a shining on Park Rose High School. There's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, it's pretty, but man, there's a lot of people in the world who have automobiles. It's kind of scary on, in several ways, you know? Like, there's so many of us, that, that how do we keep from hurting each other? We're all in automobiles, so we're kind of semi-anonymous. You don't really get to know somebody looking through a windshield at them, you know? Uh-oh. From now on, look at this guy running with his pack on here. Probably figures himself for an intelligent human being, too, you think? Answer me. It's not like we're having a conversation. Work is over. I'm done. I get to go home now. I really do have a, a good life. It's, it's not spectacular and it's not uh, ostentatious or probably not particularly entertaining, you know. I'm sorry about that, YouTube. It's just me. Now I'm just going to keep on being me. Check back with us all in about a thousand years. I'd like to see if there's a channel on YouTube that talks about what heaven's going to be like. That'd be interesting to me. The Bible says that whatever we think it's going to be like, we're wrong and it's going to be better than that. But it's still fun to think about what it could be, you know. What would heaven be like if you could design it today, you know. I'd, we'd all be... 23 years old forever in perfect health of course I guess we won't have physical bodies then so I don't understand that part of it at all but this is all I know right here but, you know we'd all be rich we'd all be richer than the other guy we'd all be smarter than everybody else now, I know none of these things are possible but we're talking about heaven here with God all things are possible with him, it says, so. I'm just taking what it, the Bible at what it says. How did I get on this street, for heaven's sake? I turned on it. Now I got bumps I gotta go over. Oop, 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 oop. Well, that's okay. We'll live through it. Anyways, it's kind of fun to think about what heaven will be like. I'm looking forward to it. I bet there'd be playgrounds in heaven for us children. What do you think? I'm just watching a, a thread, if that's what they call it, in Facebook where uh, some of my Christian friends from church and, well, anywhere from church all the way to South America uh, are involved in a little bit of a discussion. And it's getting just a little bit on the border of being almost human instead of spiritual you know but uh, you know 
we're actually sort of pitting men against women in this one. Uh, the women seem to think that they're the smart ones who are in the right, and that, some of them anyway, and some of the men seem to think that there's no way to improve on the way they're doing it, you know, so. So I'm not sure uh, where I'd stand on that. I, I kind of enjoy having a world with both men and women in it, so, you know, we're all just human. Even if you're, if you're comparing Christians to non-Christians, it's, we're all just the same, except Christians are forgiven, you know, and the rest of you are just doing it on your own, I guess. But that's okay if that's what you want. It's just keep in mind that it's a decision that's going to last you forever. So, make a good one. Make a good one. They say that women talk, use more words than men do. That was the original uh, declaration, I think. And it, it was just an observation on one lady's part. And, there's so many things to say, I don't understand why men don't use more words, you know, that's a fair statement, I think. But, uh, basically, it set a pe bunch of people off, you know. Whoop-dee-doodle-doo. -doo. I'm going home. God's been blessing me a lot lately, I tell you, I have... showered with wonderful blessings. I kind of stepped out on a limb a little bit last night. I didn't realize I was doing it. I thought we'd all agree on it. I, I told the people in our Wednesday night meeting that I thought we ought to really pray about this not a fan study we're going to do for six weeks starting next week, next Sunday. And just bathe it in prayer, basically. And, uh, you know, let whatever happens be God's doing, you know. And I thought we, I told him I thought we ought to also go to the group, go to our groups and just tell everybody there, say, hey, I'm glad we're having this kind of a study because I was tired of all those studies that just, where we just all get together and tell each other how good we think each other is doing their Christian life and stuff. And this one's going to be different because we get to say, hey, uh, what do you do? How do you actually go about denying yourself? I mean, how does that work? Where, where do you pick up a cross and, and, and follow Jesus? What, what cross do you pick up in the 21st century? What, is, what does that mean? You know, how, how do we do this? How do we follow Jesus' own a commandment to us to deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow Him. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I am going to do a little bit more praying than usual about this in the meanwhile here, and during the, the study too, just to keep this going. I'm expected to get changed, transformed, revived, lifted up, and just immersed in God's presence and God's love here.